We each have different roles and they're all very different. I'm the operator, I handle the discs, and ultimately I'm the one who's gonna have to do the sleight of hand moment. Jesse is used as a decoy and as a roper. She gets the mark in, she gets him to the right position, which is right at the front of your cue. What she does, which is very important in the very beginning, is she gives the mark a taste, a feel of what it's like to win money. So she hands the money over for him to bet it for her. Paul is our general lookout man. He's also responsible for the switch. The mark now thinks that, wow, I've beaten him. I've beaten the Monty man, I can put my money down. So what is the secret sleight of hand move behind the Monty scam? Watch closely as Alex throws down the disc with the spot. It looks like it goes on the table, doesn't it? But watch again in slow motion, and you can see that in actual fact, he doesn't throw the spotted disc, but throws the top disc instead, leaving the spotted disc in his hand. Watch again as he does the same with the three discs. Again, the top disc goes down on the table. But now he repeats the move to hide the spotted disc whilst apparently showing two blank discs. So it's not where you think it is. In the middle, it's actually on the left. Our mark didn't stand a chance. This is more about deceiving people and, and getting them to give up property, money uh, or possessions uh, by trick, not by force. It does still occur and there's still people out there that would fall for that, go up close in a small crowd uh, and fall prey to one, the, the trick itself, uh, but more importantly, pickpockets working around them. Look, if you walk up to a Monty game on the street, you are walking into a den of thieves. And Monty is just a way of mugging somebody without letting them know that they got mugged. And if it doesn't work, they'll mug you. <laughs>